Good day everyone, our topic for today is all about statistical treatment in quantitative research but before that, don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, hit the bell button for more updates. Also, you will find different subjects in this YouTube channel. Just select the playlist section. And now, let's proceed to our main lesson for today which is all about statistical treatment in quantitative research. Actually, in this portion, I'll just be going to discuss about the different statistical treatment na gina, usual na ginagamit sa quantitative research but not all. Now, uh, for the tutorial or video tutorial, tutorial kung paano i-solve or yeah kung paano mag-solve using those statistical treatment you may click the description box below to see this uh, different statistical treatment okay now let's proceed to our main topic for today and to start with let us first um identify the different the two types of statistical treatment we have this what we call the descriptive and the inferential statistics for the descriptive um descriptive uh, treatment we usually use the mean uh, the percentage the measure of variability which is the standard deviation the variance and the range also we use the frequency the count when we are doing a descriptive st statistics or solving stati uh, descriptive statistics. Now, uh, when we are using inferential statistics uh, in solving the or treat treating the data that we have, uh, we use the parametric tests, which are the t test, the person's correlation, the ANOVA, the Z test. Yeah, we use them in order for us to solve the, the, the difference, the significant difference, and the significant relationship of a particular data na nakuha natin. Okay, now, uh, let's start with the descriptive statistics. We have this what we call the measure of central tendency. Uh, usually, ito yung pinakaginagamit nila in, uh, in uh, solving or, or treating uh, data uh, or findings of the research. So, we have the mean. This is the arithmetic average of the distribution. Ang uh, bantaw dito ay weighted mean. Median, uh, the middle value that separates the higher value and the lower value equally. And mode, the most frequently occurring value. Usually, ang um, ginagamit sa mga usual na research ay yung weighted mean lamang. Because they want to get the, the, the average of a specific data. And then just describe it. Then for the measure of variability, uh, we have standard deviation, a measure of dispersion around the mean, uh, variance as the square of the standard deviation, and the range is the difference between the maximum value and the minimum value. In this portion naman, yung pinaka-usual na ginagamit nila is standard deviation kasi dito mo makikita yung pagkakalat or pagka, yeah, yung dispersion ng mga scores no yung layo ng score ng bawat isa around the mean okay so yun ang tinatawag nating standard deviation so basically in the descriptive research we use the mean and the standard deviation and also we use the frequency because we count the numbers um we also use percentage to represent the count okay uh to represent the yeah the number of the uh, uh, of the number in the descriptive uh, data okay now for the t-test this allows the comparison of the mean of two groups so pag dalawang grupo ang uh, pin mini measure mo or dalawang grupo yung pinagko-compare mo we use t-test okay ano ba yung t-test okay um there are two types of t-test actually there are independent sample t-test and the paired sample t-test or the dependent sample t-test pag independent sample t-test this applies when there are two separate population to compare halimbawa um i will get the post-test result of the experimental group and compare it to the post-test result of the control group so dalawang variable ang ginamit ko but in a separate population Okay, so ang tawag doon ngayon, kapag titignan ko yung significant difference nila, or kung meron ba silang significant difference, ang gagamitin ko ay independent sample t-test. Kapag naman paired sample t-test, 
Ito yung appropriate when there are two measures to be compared for a single population. Halimbawa, I have this one section that I uh, in that before I give them the the uh, strategy na gagamitin ko in a specific topic, I gave them the pretest and then I I gave them the strategy in teaching uh, this specific topic. And then at the end of the topic, I gave them the post test and then compare the pretest and the post test if there is an a um, an improvement. So that is what we call the paired sample t test because you are you only use uh, one population or single population but you compare two uh, two measures. In the independent, you compare two measures in a separate population. So, again, t-test is used to determine significant difference between the two means or between the means of the two groups. Now, um, balikan ko yung co correlation dito tayo sa analysis of variance or ANOVA. A general method of drawing conclusion regarding differences of population means when two or more comparison groups are involved. Um, if t-test use on... If there are two groups or yeah, if you have two groups and you are comparing these two groups, you will use t test. But if the two uh, but if you are comparing three groups, okay, three groups, you will call you will be going to use analysis of variance. Um pe kung two groups pwede ka rin mag analysis pero it's a long method. Why not use t test? Because this t test is a special case of ANOVA when considering only two groups. But if you are Having uh, three groups of people, or let's say five groups of people, you can use analysis of variance. Okay. Now let's go back to correlation. So t test and ANOVA are used to compare. Mean to say we are looking for significant difference, but correlation is different. It allows an examination of relationship between variables. So there is a different. Um, there are two different variables that we are comparing now. We are comparing two different variables. In ANOVA and the um, the ANOVA and T-test, the variable should be the same. Kung score yan, dapat yung dalawang variable scores. Okay? But in correlation, we can use, let's say, a score and the height of the students. If there is a relationship between the height and the score of the students. So that is uh, two different variables and looking to their relationship. So, is there a significant or relationship between these variables? Are they positively or negatively related? So, those are the usual questions that we ask in a correlation. Okay. So, <clears throat> those are the different statistical treatment that, that we usually use in a specific and or usual um, uh, research. Now, uh, for you, uh, if you are interested to to uh, to learn how to 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 solve, no, kung paano magsolve ng uh, ANOVA, kung paano magsolve ng t-test, paano ba magsolve ng correlation, uh, um, I will put uh, a uh, link in the description box below, so you can click them na lang if you want to watch them and to learn how to to compute. Uh, using this different statistical treatment. Okay, now, um, for the continuation, I prepared different examples of SOP or statement of the problem. And using this SOP, let us determine if what is the, the statistical treatment that is suited for this type of um, uh, type of, or for this kind of question. Okay, the first... <clears throat> The first title is An Experimental Study of Teaching English Through Direct and Traditional Methods at Secondary Level. The first question is, what is the academic achievement of the students in English before their exposure to direct method and traditional method? So in this question, it is just only asking the academic achievement. So, what is the, the uh, statistical treatment that we're going to use? Is it descriptive or inferential? The answer is descriptive. Okay. Kapag ang mga tanong ay what? Okay. Mean to say they are asking for the for some uh, for the raw data. So ang gagamitin mo ay descriptive kasi you're just describing them eh. So descriptive. So usually kapag what descriptive siya specifically ang gagamitin natin ay mean at saka standard deviation. So number 2, again it is what? 
So therefore, ang gagamitin natin uh, statistical treatment dito ay descriptive or mean, mean at saka uh, standard deviation. Sa number 3, ang tanong, are there significant differences in the academic achievement of the students in English before and after their exposure to direct method and traditional method? So, um, the question is, uh, there a uh, significant difference? So, it can be a T-test or ANOVA. But, let's uh, first uh, see how many uh, variables do we have. So, we have direct method and traditional method. We only have two. So, therefore, we will use T-test. But, in T-test, we have the independent and the paired sample T-test. The question is before and after. If we say behind, it will compare the before test and after uh, the before the execution of the uh, of the methods and after the execution of the method so therefore uh, we are comparing before and after so that is paired sample p test in number 4 are there significant differences again it's differences so it is anova or t test but since we have only two methods, we will use T-test. But the question is, differences in the academic achievement of the students subjected to these two. So there are different methods. So mean to say, we use different population here. So since there are different population, we will use independent sample T-test. To understand it better, another example. Factors that affect mathematics achievement of students of Philippine Normal University Isabela Campus. Again, for number one question, what? So obviously, the question is what? So we will use descriptive, specifically the mean and standard deviation. For number two, is there a significant difference between the performance of the respondents in fundamental and contemporary? So it's comparing at two uh, subjects, uh, two subjects, okay, uh, but with the same variable because we're talking about the performance. So, we will use t-test because it has two variables. t-test, specifically independent sample t-test uh, because fundamental and contemporary are different group of people or are different. Okay? So, these are different. So, therefore, uh, in number two, we will use independent sample t-test as our statistical treatment. In number three, what are the factors that affect? So, from the word what, this is descriptive, specifically mean and standard deviation. For number four, is there a significant relationship? Obviously, we're talking about relationships. So, since relationship is included here, we will use correlation. Number and uh, the third one, relationship between motivation and students' English learning achievement. So in the in the title, it's very obvious that we will use correlation. Now let's identify the question in the statement of the problem. Number one, what are the levels of motivation? So what? So that is mean and standard deviation, frequency or count or percentage. Are there any significant differences in the motivation between students with high and low? So we're talking about with students with high and low. So there's our different group of people and significant difference. There are two groups. So this is a t-test independent sample. Third, are there any significant relationship? From the word relationship, it is correlational. Okay, next. The impact of multimedia and students' academic achievement in the College of Education, blah, blah, blah. So number one, what is the impact of using multimedia? So again, it is descriptive. Are there statistically significant differences between the average marks of the experimental group and of the control group in the pre and post measure? So from these questions, uh, we have this pre and post measure. If you say it is comparing the uh, pre-test and the post-test. So we will use uh, t-test for paired sample. T test. Okay, um, the last one, the title is Effectiveness of Cooperative, Competitive, and Individualistic Video-Based Instructional Strategies on Students' Performance in English. So what is the student level of performance in English before and after? So this is a descriptive because of the word what. Significant difference in the before and after. So we will use 
paired sample t-test. Although there are three instructional strategies, it doesn't mean that we will use the ANOVA because we are comparing the before and after. Ibig sabihin, there is a we will compare uh, we will compare the performance of those students who are who receive cooperative based instructional strategy before and after separate to the competitive and separate to individualistic but when we are comparing these three levels uh, about their effectivity we are we we will be going to use analysis of variance so that's all about for the quantitative or the uh, yeah the statistical treatment in quantitative uh, research by uh, again if you want to watch the video tutorial about these different uh, statistical treatment on how to solve them how to compute for this statistical treatment uh, just click the description box below uh, for you to find out the different links of the different video tutorials with that thank you very much and good day